Hey guys, so I installed the iOS 26 beta 1 on my this device and this device is running iOS 18.5 So I'm gonna show you what is new in the iOS 26. First of all, look at the lock screen This is the new lock screen as you can see the clock look is a, it, it's in a glassy look This is also in the glassy look and when we are over here on the home page there are new you can um, animation let me show you again if I go over here the icons are there no animation at all but when I go from here there is an animation this is how the new notifications look like they are all in glassy look and again the new animation glassy look over here glassy look built in into the icons and being very honest I love the new look I love the new dock design um, I think this is a really good design change. The first thing first, we are going to see um, the uh, control center. So I'm going to pull down the control center. So yeah, there are again changes with the control center in this update. And as you can see, there are board curve over here. And every other widget in the control center gives a glossy look, which is also really nice. And you know, it feels like pretty glossy look over here. And, and it's slightly less blur as you can see over here you're not able to see the time that is behind but over here you are able to see the time behind a bit of there so I want it to be more um, blur be very honest maybe they're gonna make it in upcoming updates if I tap on this plus button um, they look like this one okay this is also glossy like the through where you are gonna change the size and I control this is how it looks like um, over here, there are they, they look like pretty much like this these icons as you can see. It's slightly you know laggy over here because it's the first beta and you know that's normal with the first beta. This is why first beta is not you know recommended for the public to install. But this is what it is and it looks really nice. Um, I want to show you guys the home screen. So I'm gonna keep this this way bit for here. I'm gonna bring this device over here because I want to show you some. A few things over here so tap and hold over here tapping on the added one there are four options now available the new option is added wallpaper but if you are going into the customized one now over here a glossy look again a way to change the icon size is different now as you can see now there is a default option dark option clear option and tinted one and we all know dark one how they look like and being very honest, I love the dark icons with this glossy look. And I'm th I think I'm going to keep them because they look, look really nice. I'm uh, being very honest. I'm going back again over here into the customize. And here we go. This is the clear look of the icons. Look really right. Notion icon is not changing. It definitely might be a bug. Um, But they look damn, damn good. And in a second, I'm going to show you the um, dark version of this clear icon. So I'm going to release over here and boom, this is the dark version and it looks even, even nicer being very honest. And it, you know, iPhone is completely changed now and I'm going to think it's going to stick for so many years. Just like we saw the shift from iOS 6 to iOS 7 and the iOS 7 design language stays for so many years. And this is what I think um, I'm going to go into the edit to make them look default. And also if I tap and hold over here and go into the edit wallpaper, this is how it is going to look like. From here, you can change the home screen wallpaper, not the lock screen wallpaper. Also, we haven't checked out the um, iOS 26 wallpaper for now. So let's get into the um, wallpaper section and let's see the iOS 26 wallpaper. So tap and hold over here. Tap on. So I'm going down and this is the iOS 26 wallpaper. This is how it looks like. Um, I don't know why they are on the top over here. Okay, so there is, let's see what new options are available. Slider is changed. Now let me bring this device bit over here because I want to show you the difference. So I'm gonna tap on this plus button and maybe I'm gonna select any iOS 18 wallpaper just to show you guys what is the difference um, a bit away in these things so, okay so if uh, I'm over here and if I tap on the this is how the slider looks like before this is how it looks like now there are pretty much the same options 
of the time available as you can see i'm gonna keep this one or maybe this time i'm gonna keep this one um there are like glass option available solid option is also available okay so if you prefer solid one you can go with the solid one i like the glass one because yeah why not there are more colors option available as you can see uh, i'm gonna keep the first one over here and also what i noticed that if you um tap over here i guess okay so maybe if i choose this one or maybe choose this one now i have the option to drag it all the way down so i'm gonna drag it all the way down and see oh this looks nice this looks like let me show you again how this works it changes the wallpaper too and it looks neat it looks nice and all the widgets are at the bottom what if i add widget and okay so they will stay at the bottom i guess let's see i added spotify i want to add this one how it used to be and also let's see the darker version of the wallpaper so i'm gonna go over here and turn on the dark mode and this is how the dark version of the wallpaper looks like very neat i love the new wallpapers amazing i'm gonna, gonna add set as pure okay okay so this is how this is my new lock screen i love the new lock screen widgets on the bottom it looks amazing it's looked the best this is like i am loving every bit of the i was i'm pretty excited being very honest now every other app is changed a lot there is a lot to talk about being very honest um so i'm gonna you know make a lot of more videos um in my every video i will be sharing my experience i'm also gonna install uh ios 26 beta one on this device so it's gonna be fun now as you can see clock icon is also changed over here so if i go to like for example i'm gonna compare camera apps they are way different now so this is how the camera apps look like as you can say they are different and if i want to change the option i need to do slight this this and you know there there we go this way you have all the options let me show you again look nice it's a bit of a confusing for now but you know used to i will get used to this stuff soon um so if i go to the calendar app there is tabs on the bottoms looks really nice so neat so neat and clean if i go over here like every other app is changed and they look so nice neat being very honest i am like literally literally loving it i can tap on today to see today and you know more stuff over here choose the calendars and all that so yeah a lot of um changes over here so let me go to the um maybe let's go to the mail app and see what is up with the mail app over here into the inbox this like i haven't you know any account over here but yeah it's bottom slide change over here they look also different look nice love the design over here too um let's go to the settings app and see the what is different into the settings app okay so the slider is changed after so many years and this looks nice this looks so neat um this is how it looks like the icons are seems so they are taking more um space over here as you can see um let me get to the maybe let's go to the battery over here and the battery thing is completely changed it is completely changed this is how it looks like i'm gonna learn what these things matter view battery usage you can go in depth battery usage by doing this looks really nice it also shows the percent and how much percent do you use this is way better being very honest um last 10 days it it was like this you have to you know just see the graph over here but you don't have to see the graph over here it shows exactly how much percent um you have used um really nice uh let's go over here so battery health this is pretty much same charging it's pretty much same again this is a slight design change power mode there is something a new power mode that is known as adaptive power as you can see now basically when your battery usage is higher than usual iphone can make small performance adjust adjustments to extend your battery life including slightly lower in the display brightness or allowing some activities to take a little longer uh, low power mode may turn on at 20 percent so this is a new adaptive power mode i think this is going to be known as ai 
I don't know if there is a battery intelligence or not but yeah icons look so nice I think shortcut app is also a new icon as you can see I'm pretty excited very honest um uh, okay so let's see something uh, let's go to some other app um let's go to the uh, maybe let's go to the podcast app over here okay so podcast app over here too this is how the new podcast app uh, design looks like as you can see um there is the the way it jumps from one tab to another tab that is beautiful just look at it love it and let me show you let me see how okay this is weird um because it is showing everything in the background so i think uh they need to make it slightly more blur because it feels it you know it's it's bad for now i don't it's not that good um let me get to the dark mode over here and see how it now looks like okay bit of a lag over there nice design love it love it every bit of it i'm gonna stall definitely on this device too okay so there is a so yes yeah, slightly bugs will be there for sure um apple gonna you know when the more beta will start to come out um it will start it it will start to get better um so let's get to the phone app this is how the phone apps look like over here um the design is you know, floating tabs everywhere so that is one thing um cause i'm sure i'm not you know leaking anything over here um this is how it looks like it shows the favorite person on the top which is very nice um oh i did a mistake over here i'm gonna blur this out anyways so yeah slight change over here too looks nice um messages this is how the message is gonna look like you can see a very different um, new message on the bottom this is how it looks like um okay the keyboard keyboard i want to talk about keyboard keyboard is bad i don't like the keyboard i i don't know for some reason i don't like the keyboard being very honest i love this keyboard and it's been there for so many years for some reason i don't know this keyboard seems weird maybe i get used to it um but for now i am not into this keyboard i'm going to show you the dark board of this keyboard this looks weird and i'm going to show you this one it looks so nice over here and it looks so weird over here so this is the only thing so far that i didn't like about the ios 26 but other than that everything is so good and as you can see apps icons are dark over here although they are, they are not dark over here so you know these are the bugs that are going on and they will get fixed for sure so let's get to any other app um let's get to the weather app and see what is new there so it's a pretty much same app okay okay it is like what is happening over here what is hap too many bugs too many bugs it's lagging a lot it is lagging a lot it is lagging a lot being very honest so sometimes you know it's quite um obvious it is gonna lag you can switch between them quickly nice but you know it's obvious it is gonna lag for sure but or also there is a new game app so this is the game app all the games that have installed over here are over here so it will you know gather all the games that you have installed on your device um looks nice maybe uh, okay so you can see a lot of stuff you can go into the arcade section i am not i haven't subscribed to the arcade section so and you could play together there will be like with your friends and stuff and you get, get go to the library and what is the library all about okay so all of your games over here you have options it's like games that you have installed in past but not right on your device they are also showing over here so you're going to install them again dope so there is a this new app preview i don't know what this app is all about but it is showing my files um but i'm going to see what this app is all about and get back to you guys but so far things are so nice they looks really dope and a big thing is about the photos app so i want to get into the photos app and want to show you um what is up with the photos app 
Okay, so we are into the Photos app and now this is the old design we all know and this design is gone. Like this design was launched with the iOS 18 and now it is gone again and it has changed to this one. And there are collections and I don't know if I open anything, maybe this one or maybe any like this one over here. This is how it looks like at the bottom. At the top there are collections where there will be albums and all stuff let me show you that this is how the collections look like i'm not sure if you can you know hide stuff okay so you can hide stuff this way i can do this to hide stuff that's quite a more personal so i don't want to get dig into it but i'm going to show you in some other video so yeah this is all the ios 26 i will be making more videos about this so talking about more features but this was just a first look after installing the iOS 26. Give me your thoughts. So far, I love it. There are a few changes, things that need to be changed like the control center and the keyboard. But this is, I may get used to it. But yeah, I will hope to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace out.